we have another motherboard so let's see this circuit okay so here near to the power jack as you can see this is the power jack so let's track the signals here in the circuit or the buses in the circuit so as you can see here we have here the power jack we have here two mosfets and here we have a coil if you focus here for example we have here this this mosfet is connected to this mosfet as you can see why because here we have the same color here we have drain and also here we have drain so this four pins is connected also to these four pins if we can't check using the multimeter so let's put the multimeter to the buzzer option as you can see here and then press the power button okay so for now let's check the continuity as you can see so this mosfet all these pins are connected together so let's check first the, con the continuity so let's check as you can see all pins are connected together as you can see and also these four pins are connected to these other pins as you can see here okay so after that the other pins of this mosfet as you can see this Q mosfet is the q4 as you see if we track the bus as you see here we have the green color goes directly to this resistance as you see this 15 m resistance and also here we have coil means this means that this mosfet is connected to this resistance because we have here same color okay as you can see all this so let's check using the multimeter if we put one probe here okay and check here as you can see also the coil okay so after that the signal or the 19 volt will pass through this resistance and go where as you can see we have this green color here no it will go to this capacitor this capacitor is connected to this resistance because as you see we have the the same path here the green color and also will go here as you can see to this transistor and to this diode okay without using the schematic i can know that this diode is connected to this why because we have this path or bus as you see the same path so let's check also using the multimeter so let's put one probe here and put the other here for example in this resist transistor as you can see do you see also here do you see also this diode is connected to this resistor okay and of course because this this resistor this is a current sense resistor it is like a fuse we can if we put the probe here in this diode as you can see here in this diode okay and go as you see connected to this and connected also to this coil and of course to the MOSFET as you can see okay why because here we have the same path okay and also here if you focus here we have this MOSFET also we have source here this three also this three pins connected to this diode here we have the same path and connected to this transistor and of course connected to this as you can see so let's check also this this is the source of this mosfet the same path so it will be connected to this to this transistor and if we go here as you can see connected to this also will be connected to this capacitor you know why because we have here the same path okay so let's see the circuit for example here we have the gmc h circuit why because here we have the processor near to the processor we have the gmch as you can see so this is the gmch power management here we have coils and we have of course some mosfets so if you focus here for example as you can see here we have these two mosfets are connected together as you can see because we have here the same color the same path so here we have point means this is source these three are source 
If we check this tree, as you see, let's check the continuity first. These three are connected together, as you can see. So let's check it. Okay, and this also. Okay, this is the gate, of course. Do you see the gate? The gate is not connected with the source. Here we have a green color. Here we have another color. Here we have the same color, green color. So means these three are connected. We have your source, source and gate. And here we have drain. As you see, four pins connected together. And the drain of this is connected to the drain of this. Because here we have the same path, as you can see. We can check using the multimeter, of course, as you can see. Okay? If you look here, you will find that the source of this MOSFET, if we follow this path, as you can see, is connected. As you see, this, here we have this path, follow this path, goes to here. So, this call should be connected to the source, as you can see. Why? Because we have the same path here. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have the clock generator. Always the clock generator near to it, we have a crystal or a quartz. As you can see, always here we have a small buses. As you can see, all clock generator pins are connected to other components. For example, let's check. For example, this resistor. As you can see, we have here a small, a thin bus. So let's check this. Resistor is connected to this pin, as you can see. Why? Because I follow this path. Okay. So let's check, for example, this resistor, as you can see, is connected to what? To this pin here, the second pin. Okay. But for this, for example, here is connected, as you can see here, is connected to the pin number four because we have here buses. I follow just buses without using the schematic. And you can use a technique here if you want for example to test between two pins here avoid to take test here or measurement here because you can damage this i see if you do a short here you can look for the extension of this pin for example for this pin its extension is this resistor so i will put one probe here and the extension of this pin for example is this resistor i will put another here okay so always try in the ic's that contain a pins that is near to each other use the extension to take a measurement okay these two capacitors this is a chemical capacitor these two capacitors as you can see are connected together because here we have the same color as you can see and also this color also connects this coil to this capacitor as you can see okay the same color but the color is not connected to this as you see here we have a circle a circle of another color it means okay, it's not connected to the capacitor so in the other side this capacitor as you can see for example here if you focus here this capacitor in other side are connected together of course and connected as you can see, goes and connected to this resistor here. If we check, do you see? Connected to this resistor because we have this part and then we have this small part here. 